All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in, thanks for watching, and of course, thanks for subscribing. Back with the latest FSD beta, 11.4.8.1. Taking for a short drive, uh, a different drive than we've never done before, uh, to see how it performs. Light to moderate traffic. So there is gonna be some traffic and some different conditions we haven't seen before, but we're gonna see what it does. So far, this build has been pretty good for us. Not so great for others in different areas, but in the Northeast has been pretty good for us. A much better improvement from 11.4.7.3. And it's been solid. Slows down a little bit. Maybe a little bit of a, a perceptive slowdown. Maybe some people were in the park next to us that I couldn't see. Nothing too terrible. Stays composed. Needs to get around this truck and then make a little bit of a, a blind turn. It's a little blind corner here that's a little bit difficult and challenging. There we go. Hard to see around. Sort of cresting a hill and turning, which is complicated, even for some humans. This is a sharp angle here to the left and right. This is similar, this is the same line as our unprotected left, which was also at a, a little bit of a steep angle, but this is a little bit steeper to the right where it's hard to see. I know it's gonna have to get out there a little bit further to see based on where the, uh, the cameras are. All clear to the left and all clear to the right. Let's see what it does. And it can go. Okay. Still a little sluggish, but I'll forgive it because it is a little bit of a steeper angle. Here's where I think we're going to have problems. Yeah, it slows down here. This is the unprotected intersection here. I'm going to go and I'm going to flag that. Almost comes to a complete stop right there. Not good. Not good there. And again, that's the different angle of our unprotected left. So I'm not sure what's going on right there. I don't know what it sees, but just some steep angles, non-traditional uh, angles for the turns and non-traditional angles for the curb uh, where it is and looking down the street. So definitely needs to get out there. It needs to get out there far enough for the B pillars to be able to see left and right. That's your true left and right for these cars. Would love for that to be where the cameras that look backwards are, right? So these cameras, these repeater cameras, would love for it to be there. That way we would only have to get part of the hood out into the intersection versus the entire sort of cockpit, if you will, uh, for the front seats to be able to see true left and right. Okay, car coming up here. Good job, not overreacting. I'll bump up to expedite. Can never get it right on the first try, I don't know why. But so far, so good. Again, minus that little, that area, that area is a little weird. I'm not sure what is causing it to slow down. Hopefully Tesla can use the data to investigate and see what it is that's uh, that's causing the issue. This is our normal traffic light route. So this is very familiar territory. Did it well the last time, should also do it well this time. Excellent job getting over. Fire truck coming. It would be interesting to see what would happen if it actually was a little bit closer. Bump back down, I'm gonna jump back up. I got it right that time, cool. It should be a pretty straightforward drive, but again, I'd just like to take you guys on the drives that I'm able to take you on. Sometimes when I drive or do these tests, I have some more people in the car with me, not kids, but more people in the car with me and they prefer not to be on camera. So um, when I'm by myself or when, I'm, when I have someone else in the back who helps do that, they can help us. A little bit of slowdown for the traffic light way here. That's not necessarily the right thing to do, but maybe it's trying to not stop on the, on the train tracks. I'm not sure. Giving us some accelerator here. Not sure what the issue is here. I'm going to flag that. Again, not, not a detrimental behavior, 
but definitely not the right behavior. So that's a little bit of an issue there that needs some correcting. But again, not detrimental, not causing any harm to anyone, not putting yourself at risk and not feeling too, too unsafe, but just a little odd that it's stopping so far ahead of the, uh, the light itself. this up keeps changing to 25 that's actually new i've not seen it do that before if the consistent speed zone is 25 and you bump it to 30 it'll stay 30 until the speed limit changes to something different now it seems to be reverting back to 25 i guess every time it sees the 25 mile an hour speed zone i think i have to look at the footage and see Now the speed limit is 30. Let's go 35. Love to have that five mile an hour over speed limit offset back, but uh, it is what it is. And then for those asking, yes, it's gonna nag me, but I think the interval on which I'm adjusting the speed counts as interaction and it nullifies um, the nag in that instance. If it goes beyond that and we just keep going, then I don't know what to tell you. Maybe my car is special. I don't know. I can tell you what it's not. It's not any type of third party device. I can tell you that. Good job slowing down, very human-like, staying poised, lining up right, um, and then keeping the path planning the right way. A little bit of phantom blinker, don't know what that means. It's not gonna turn, doesn't need to turn, it needs to go straight. Good composure, way to accelerate, nice and smooth. Pothole is going to be unavoidable, but luckily we slowed down a little bit. Ugh, big one. Pedestrians on the right running. Does it overreact? does not good job deceleration then acceleration right afterwards nice and comfortable not slowing down to a complete stop and then abruptly going so that's great great improvements great improvements over time uh, with these builds and even the small incremental builds like this one you know mean something show improvement now it could go around like the other cars but it's gonna to choose to stay here. And again, that's the safer course of action. I'm okay with that. If someone else wants to go around, they can go around, not a problem, but I'm okay with this behavior. It doesn't have to go around that person. Maybe that's the illegal move in certain areas, but that's the way to go. Sees that there's a light and doesn't fully accelerate to the limit and then abruptly break. That's great behavior here. Uh, I think the real test here is going to be a slew of uh, manhole covers as we make this turn, and I'm hopeful that uh, it handles them gracefully. Good job angling to make a wider turn. I can appreciate that. Just don't go too wide because the car on the left is coming. Good job staying in the lane to do that. Good job staying away from the curb. Excellent job.
Now it bumps back down to 25 again. See, I'm not sure. And here's my warning. See, here's my warning, guys. There we go. I get them. Maybe not as frequently as everybody else, but uh, I definitely get them. But we got to figure out what's going on with the speed limit here. I guess it changed from 30 to 25, and that's what brought it back. But if it's consistently the same speed limit, it should definitely stay with the offset that I put manually in here. job traversing these winding roads coming up to a nice little traffic light with a left turn signal that we had now we don't have it interested to see how it's going to proceed goes very methodical person behind me probably isn't happy good job taking this turn great job and good job standing in this lane then it has to quickly get oh, I guess it'll merge up here so that was actually really good really comfortable and a little bit surprising that it did it so well Sometimes we'll go for the wider lane and then merge in. It went for the closer lane in this instance. Good job getting over. Turn signal on. A little close to the curve for my taste for this wide road, but I'm okay with it. Yeah. Very close to the curve on this one, but okay. It did it. I'm okay. As long as it does it, I'm okay. And we are at our destination with a minute to spare. Good job. All right, guys, let me know what you think in the comments about this drive. If you have this build, let us know where you are, what car you have. I know people have complained about the auto wipers for the three and Y at night. I'll try to get a nighttime video if I can once I put the kids down. Um, but let me know your thoughts in the comments about this build. And until the next time, enjoy your day. Enjoy your Tesla.